Hello, everyone. Um, so here we're going to talk about a little bit about chapter nine and hypothesis testing. So hypothesis testing, when we're doing hypothesis testing for a single population, it is something that kind of challenges the way that you think. So with hypothesis testing, reading the questions thoroughly is very important. So this is just to introduce the concept of hypothesis testing, and we'll get more into the word problems in a later video. But for now, let's just talk about no hypothesis versus um, the alternative alternative hypothesis. So I'm going to change my pen color because I set things up to make it easier. So no hypothesis is denoted by this H naught. Uh -uh. And then our alternative hypothesis is going to be this H1. Right. So that is how this is the no. And this is the alternative All right and then h naught the null hypothesis uh, represents the status quo which is what is believed to be true so the status quo is is, is what you are you believe to be true this is the way things have always been. So status quo is what you believe to be true. And then the H1 is the opposite. Okay, so just setting up a baseline. So scenario one, it's three scenarios that we're going to cover in terms of hypothesis. And that is, the first scenario is the mean is equal to X. Right, so we believe the mean of something is equal to X. The alternative is the mean is not equal to x. Very similar if we say that the mean is greater than or equal to x. The alternative is the mean has to be less than x. And then finally, if the mean if I'm sorry, the mean is less than or equal to x, right? The alternative is the mean is greater than x. And if we were to draw these in pictures, this will be a two-tail test, right? This is a one-tail test. And if this was the mean, that's the mean. These are not drawn to scale. And then this is x. We were looking at the mean being greater than x. Right? And then this is also a one tail test. This is the mean. And this is x. We're looking at the mean being. Right? So. That's on the left, that's on the right. So one tail test, upper, lower, and then this is a two tail test. And one more thing to talk about in terms of hypothesis, I'm gonna just ease up and go back to my blue pen. And that is, um, this is very important. A hypothesis statement can only be used for a population parameter, not a sample. That's very important. All right. So I will come back in another video and I will talk about two tail tests versus one tail tests.